Uh, I'm just thinking, Nick, if you're not already, you'll be the best of friends at the end of this experience. Uh, hi, hi. <laughs> no, it sounds a lot of fun. I'm looking forward um, to having a say, having a shot tomorrow. The thing that surprised me about the ferry is, and you're not really getting the benefit of it in this arena, is how comfortable it is when thrown over some serious bumps. Um, it was really, really excellent. But it was a surprise to me, actually, because, of course, being my first time in that sort of vehicle. Um, I went round the uh, War and Peace Arena in a 432, and I have to say that was quite uncomfortable, quite scary at times, because I, I was sort of standing in the in the ring, uh, in the back, and um, then to, to go around in a ferret, oh, like it was uh, like jumping into a Rolls Royce, which of course it is, because it has a Rolls Royce engine as well. So yeah, a fine bit of uh, British machinery there, one of the best. Uh, Sort of um, military vehicles I think around um, and I have because of that I have started thinking about a dingo but I understand that they are quite difficult to get hold of and parts aren't anything like as plentiful. Um, do you run a, a ferret yourself Nick or any other military vehicle uh, back to you? Mike Zero, uh, zero uh, Kilo Oscar Tango Mobile M0 IDF Bottle. Mike Zero IDF Bottle Yeah, fine business there, Nick. We'll just wait for uh, Ed, I think he said it was, to come back. Yeah, uh, getting quite noisy, um, sounding good. And uh, I'm wondering if, uh, is, if Ed now has the, uh, the headset on. Uh, I'll just give it another few seconds there, uh, just make sure. Uh, now, round to you, Ed. Uh, this station, Mike Zero, India Delta Fox. Currently portable, um, just up the road from you, on the same site uh, with the Vintage Operating Group. Uh, back to you there, Ed, uh, in the ferret uh, from M Zero IDF Portable. Uh, name here is David, by the way. David. Uh, back to you, Ed. Yeah, hello, Dave. Back at Zero IDF. Uh, Happy call sign. Uh, this is uh, Ed on G Eight Y XR, and I'm riding along in this wonderful ferret we've got. Uh, it's a great day out there, and the sun suddenly come out. Yeah, fine business there, Ed. <coughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a nice day today. Um, on, at least until this evening, I think. Then, uh, then who knows what will happen? Uh, I found it quite chilly last night, actually, surprisingly so. And uh, I did get up a couple of times in the night. And yes, um, I was wearing kind of shorts and a t-shirt. And I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I wish I grabbed a fleece uh, to, um, you know, for the inevitable trip to the bathroom. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm just running there, Ed. Is this your first time in a ferret? And um, I have to say, your seat doesn't sound very comfortable. And you must be extremely good friends with Nick. Uh, back to you there, Golf A YXR. Uh, mobile from Mike Zero India Delta Fox Portable on a Kiwi ZC1 a transceiver. Sorry, just repeat that last question, uh, Ed. Back to you. Yes, he, he is. Mike is is here as ever. It's all part of the Vintage Operating Group display. I'm attacked on the end. If you take a wander up here, please do drop in and say hi. Um, you'll see at the end of the display, there's a rather wonderful Bedford QLR uh, radio truck. It's kitted out as a camper uh, wagon, but uh, I'm hoping to persuade... Uh, uh, Kevin, the owner, a friend of mine, uh, to convert the, the rearmost uh, bit uh, for, for radio purposes because it would be extremely good to operate from the back. Uh, I am using the insulated aerial mount for the DMAS on top um, to, uh, to support the aerial that I'm currently using. Um, aerial isn't as long as I'd like, it should be 160 foot long, but it's probably about mm, crikey, 70 foot long. So it was a bit of a struggle on the VMARS net this morning. Uh, I don't know if you know, you get on the VMARS net ever on, uh, on AM3615 on Saturday morning, but I did manage to work a few of them and get some quite good signal reports, and uh, they were coming in quite well. Uh, anyway, back to you there, Ed. Uh, Golf A, Yankee X ray Romeo, mobile in the ferret. At the Military Odyssey show from Mike Zero, India Delta Fox. Golf A, 
Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, how's the, how's your seat, Ed? How's your seat? <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine it's particularly comfortable. Back to you. Yeah, so I've got my, my left buttock half on the edge of the seat, and I've got a knob sticking out my arse down to me. Uh, and I've got one of those things that you can put your hands on and hold your head up and hold your head up. Yeah, yes, it, it's quite a hazardous environment, actually, isn't it? Like most military vehicles. And uh, I, I know you can either be clocked around the head by the brain gun, which I think I moved to the rear uh, because I, did, I, I was convinced I was going to break my teeth on the front of it going over the bumps at uh, War and Peace. And um, the, the seat had a, a tendency to collapse as well, which was quite exciting at times. So uh, yeah, it can be quite a hazardous environment that, Ed. I don't know if you've discovered the collapsing seat yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not sufficiently bumpy for you. Uh, G8XYR, M0 IDF. Oh right, okay. I, I hope you've uh, I hope you've uh, you've combed your hair and uh, brushed your teeth there for the uh, for the parade, Ed. Uh, back to you. Uh, oh yes, we're all squeaky, squeaky clean and sparkling, and uh, we're looking our best. Okay, with the suitable headgear as well. I think um, I um, I was wearing a, a field service cap, I think, uh, when I went round, with, with of course the headphones over the top and uh, khaki drill. I think um, as the as the weather was uh, absolutely glorious at War and Peace. I don't know if you were there, but um, at one point it was touching, I think, uh, 40 degrees. I think we measured it at one point. Um, so it was definitely khaki drill weather. I uh, rather foolishly bought, brought the same uh, khaki drill for this show, obviously somewhat colder, but it is an awful lot more comfortable, so I had to nip out yesterday and buy myself a second.